Hello everyone, welcome to Infigam. In this very very exciting video of algebraic expressions. In this video, we will be simplifying two problems today. First one is x is given to us 6 over square root 7 plus 1 times 4th root 7 plus 1 times 8th root 7 plus 1 times 16th root 7 plus 1. And we have to simplify the expression of x plus 1 raised to the power 32 plus 1 over x plus 1 raised to the power 16. So let's get started. I will use here one algebraic identity that is difference of a square. So let me write here first that is a plus b in one parenthesis times a minus b. Now I will multiply in numerator and denominator by 16th raised to 7 minus 1, 16th power 7 minus 1 in the numerator and similarly 7 minus 1. Now I will consider these two brackets all together. Let me write here in the product form. So it will look like 16th 7 plus 1 times 16th 7 minus 1. Now you can see it is a plus b and a minus b form. So let's consider this is a this is b a b so what i will write a square minus b square so it will become 16th root of 7 square minus 1 square so i will have 8th root of 7 minus 1 so let me write here x is equal to 6 times 16th raised to the 7 minus 1 over square root 7 plus 1, fourth root of 7 plus 1, plus eighth root of 7 plus 1, and then we will have eighth root of 7 minus 1 from here. Okay. Now again I will use the same identity a square minus b square. You can consider this is a, this is b, this is a, this is b. a minus b square, a square minus b square. So what I will be having after that, let me write 16th raised to the power 7 minus 1 square root 7 plus 1, 4th root 7 plus 1 and here we can write 4th root of 7 minus 1 after applying a plus b a minus b the difference of a square. Now again you can see it is framing the same difference of a square. So we will get 6 16th raised to the 7 minus 1 over root 7 plus 1 times this will give us root 7 minus 1. Again applying the difference of a square. Okay. So ultimately what we will have 6 times 16th 7 minus 1 over a plus b a minus b a square minus b square 7 minus 1. So finally I will be having 6 16th raised to 7 minus 1 over 6. What we will get? Let's see. Once I will cancel 6 from the numerator and denominator, it will be left with 16th raised to the 7 minus 1. Okay. So left hand side we have x. Let me write this one. So x equal to 16, 7 minus 1. Add both sides 1. So x plus 1 equal to 7 raised to the power 1 over 16. Okay. Now we have to find out these two values. So one value is already we have x plus 1 is equal to 7 raised to the power 1 over 16. So x plus 1 whole power 16 will be I will write 7 raised to the power 1 over 16 whole power 16 raise both sides power 16. So this will give us 7 because of exponent property a power b whole power c it would be a power b times c. So I have multiplied 
7 power 1 over 16 times 16. So that will cancel, we will be having 7 only. Now x plus 1 raised to the power 32 we required. So I will raise both sides power 32. So it will give us 7 raised to the power 1 over 16 whole power 32. Okay. So if I will cancel these two, I will write 1 over 16 times 32. I will cancel these two numbers. We will be having 7 power 2 which will be equal to 49. Okay. Now let's put the value. I will write x plus 1 whole power 32 plus 1 over x plus 1 whole power 16. This value will be 49 plus 1 over 7. Put both the values, this one and this one respectively. So once I will take LCM, then 7 square times 7, 7 cube, 343 plus 1 over 7. So our final answer becomes 344 over 7. This is our answer. Let's take the second one. It is from Math Olympiad Junior problem. 3 power x minus 3 power x minus 1 equal to 2 root 3. Then we have to find the value of this expression. How we will simplify? We will use the exponent property first, which states that a power x minus y we can write a power x over a power y. Let's apply here. So I will write 3 power x over 3 and 3 power x as it is. So I will take 3 power x common from the left hand side. Once I will take common, what will be left? 1 minus 1 over 3 equal to 2 root 3. Okay. Now 3 power x times 3 minus 1, 2 over 3 equal to 2 square root 3. This 2 I will cancel from both sides. Multiply both sides now with 3. So it will be 3 power x equal to 3 root 3 or I can write 3 power 1 plus half equal to 3 power 3 by 2. So comparing both sides, base is same. So exponent must be same. So I will write x is equal to 3 over 2. Now what we have to find out that is 2x power x. Let me write here 2x power x. Let's put the value. 2 times x is 3 by 2. Whole power is 3 by 2. This 2 we can cancel. So what is left? 3 power 3 by 2. Answer will become 3 root 3. This is how we can simplify the value. Such kind of questions. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care.